Welcome everybody, this is your Suvok, here's some time for a new Let's Play. And this time we're playing Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Or as I like to call Metal Gear Rising Revenge in the Nets. Because Revengeance just sounds not enough. <laughs> this is an interesting game that was in development for a long while, and unfortunately, uh, we'll never see what the original game was was going to be. Um, however, fortunately, we did get to see what would happen if Platinum took, a, took on the Metal Gear franchise, and, uh, gotta delete one of these files. <laughs> and so, yeah. Um, one thing I want to point out real quick, I am playing this on an Xbox 360 controller. Um, I finally caved and bought one because I kind of needed to for, uh, for, uh, so I could play Darksiders. Um, by the way, I bought Darksiders 1 and 2 and all the DLC for about 8 bucks <laughs> about like 3 days ago. So yeah, um, I think we'll go easy on this one. Uh, easy to allow for all my protection, protection put when parry. No. Um, no, it's because it's tutorial. I've had some experience with the controller. I went through a failed recording session earlier and went through testing it, so hopefully this should be enough. Not that the tutorial will tell you tell you much anyway. This is a platinum game. <laughs> they tell you the bare basics. Okay, this button attacks, this button also attacks, this button jumps. Okay, you're good. The sign of a strong leader, sir. No. The will of a strong people. <laughs> uh, one thing I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and talk as long as the dialogue as possible. Um, Very able advisor. Thank you, sir. Primarily, I'm going to keep talking. I'm going to try not to talk over the dialogue. <laughs> Mr. Lightning Bolt. Just doing our job, Mr. Prime Minister. I must admit. I once thought of groups like yours as opportunists, enablers of war. I just know why you call him Mr. Lightning Bolt. Oh wow. <laughs> uh, dude's name is Raiden. It's like lightning in Japanese or something like that. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think it's lightning and I think... Uh, oh crap. Oh. There's a po there's a Pokemon named out you know to the Thunderbolt. Raikou? Yeah, Raikou. Life. Well one sword keeps another in the sheath. Sometimes the threat of violence alone is a deterrent. Sometimes by taking a life, others can be preserved. I kind of agree with that. Maybe not the last part, but the first two parts kind of make sense. Especially if you look look at our history and look at the Cold War. Um, full of surprises, Mr. Because it's really the only thing that's keeping us, keeping America and, and the Russians from total, total world, from like total war was the threat of nuclear deterrence on both sides. So yeah. <laughs> um. Oh boy, this guy. Ugh. Uh, one thing I might go ahead and add, I will be go I will be going through the two DLC levels added in this game. It came with the one I bought it. Um, not sure why, but you know, oh well. <laughs> and this guy has a little bit of DLC. And oh boy, <laughs> let's put this one. We'll, we'll, we'll get into that when we're getting there. By the way, this game is rated M for Mature, so... Yeah. <laughs> All you kiddies better leave the room! That's a Mentos commercial right there <laughs> with, the, with the guy. Exit comes up unaffiliated. I'll notify all 
Hmm. I wonder if Exif is actually a thing. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it, it is, I don't know if it's a thing in this in this in the universe only, or if it's a thing in the actual in actual real life. I don't know. I don't know either one. <laughs> um. Just another note I should make. Another note I should make here, real quick. Um, this is my first and only Metal Gear game I've ever played. So as far as lore. The lore and stuff of stuff before this, I know very little. I know. I know Metal Gear Solid 4 a little bit. Like, when I say a little bit, I mean I know that Raiden's a, a cyborg in that one too. <laughs> Other than that. <laughs> oh, and that Snake is like an old man. Other than that, I don't really know what else. So I just maybe like a few hints or drops they mentioned in this game, I think. Oh yeah, that's a very that's a freaking cool sword. <laughs> that can fall down like like float that. So the sword itself is <laughs> the sword itself is pretty cool too. Let's get this over with. <laughs> I like that eye patch. The eye patch looking thing for the for the HUD. So, real quick, there we go, uh, right bumper locks and unlocks targets, uh, you can use the control stick to switch between targets, and X and Y do lightning strong attack in that order, um, but this is not what the game is known for. The game is known for if you hold the left trigger, you enter blade mode, but you can't see that because the tree got in the way. This is, a, this is what happens when I press X. This is what happens when I press Y. And this is what happens when I use the control stick to do my attack. Up and down, left and right. I'm just basically going back and forth, diagonal. But I can also aim the attack. Uh, pull back, let go. Yeah. But by the way, I didn't know about that until fairly recently. Like, he, like on the mouse. Let me go ahead and show you what it is on the mouse. You do the same with the mouse, you just kind of make a, cir a circular form. And in order for you to do anything through the slash, you gotta move in the direction that you'd be sliced. Kind of like, imagine if you had like remote controls. Um, so, yeah. Um, but anyway, right here. This actually would be a good spot to show it off. This is what the game's known for. And this is why it took so long for it to come out. Because you see what we're doing here with this car? We're slicing it to pieces. Slicing it to more pieces than we could possibly imagine. And yes, if you slice up enough of something in certain spots, you can actually end up lagging the game for a few seconds. Oh, whoops, there you go. Trying to do the ninja run. Uh, while we're running, we can do this to do a dash attack. Um, bullets will not hurt us when we're dashing, because, like, Brian's that badass in this game. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, eventually we'll be able to slice up enemies in blade mode, but that'll be, late, that'll be later in something. Yeah, once we get more upgrades. <laughs> um, Right, uh, right there, you saw that in, you saw that in his eyes flash. Um, when they flash red, you can do a move, move in the direction, press the court, and press the uh, X button. Let me see if I can get this guy to do it. Here you go. You do a parry attack, and that lets us attack him in blade mode and slice him to pieces. Okay. <laughs> oh, you need the uh, you have the ability to do that. Oh well. <laughs> I was wrong. Um, in this case, you can because you're. Because you're acting, I guess you're acting into a special means. Uh, but yeah, you see them slicing, and eventually we'll get a little counter on the side that'll tell us how many parts and how many hits we've had on them. And let's see uh, this one. You, can, you see you can parry in any direction. Um, just basically point towards the enemy. That's all you gotta remember. 
Um, they don't do a good job of telling you that in this game. That's kind of one of the flaws of Platinum games, is that they, they do a good job of giving you the basics, and then nothing else. But yeah. But yeah, we gotta get to the limo, and right here we'll just play through this. And start with the next cutscene. <laughs> yeah, it's the one guy from uh, Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> Rude, isn't he? Rude or Runo? Where was he? One was a redhead, the other guy was a, was a bald black guy. <laughs> Both of them are freaking freaking awesome and having children. But here we're gonna get our, our first boss. That's right, we're fighting a Metal Gear right off the bat. <laughs> and we're fighting a boss right after the bat. <laughs> Just so that you know, that first fight that we had, where I was spinning up, soon as I took me out to play the game, all that was completely optional. Because it's went straight for the bar, for the fence. Oh, that's that's nasty. Oh, yeah, this is definitely a spectacle. <laughs> and oh, and is, somebody's telling me this. I haven't been able to figure this out yet. Is that blade heating up? It's like you're throwing that in the camera. Because he's a cyborg, it's slicing, it's like causing smoke to come out from his circuits or something. I'm not, I'm not sure. Oh boy, this isn't good. I'd laugh at that too. What do you want with the Prime Minister? I want him dead. Okay. Nothing personal, of course. <laughs> Africa's just getting a bit too peaceful. What? Okay, I get this guy. Okay, he's gonna be one of those guys. So you know, evil for the sake of being evil. A clean break from the war economy. Huh. Can I even say the writing is uh, How's an honest warmonger body to make a living? Right now, this is your answer. Like the, I think like the yellow glass bits, the yellow plas the Don't clear plastic, the clear plastic glass bits, or whatever it is, whatever it is on his shoulders, kind of, kind of throws me off. Don't worry now, I won't. <laughs> Not while he's still useful. Uh. So long. The, the blue glass on his chest is pretty cool. It's pretty cool looking. The, the blue glass on his chest and back is pretty cool, but the yellow bit's kind of. I don't know. Maybe, maybe a different color would have been just it, but. Here we go! Finding our first boss! Metal Gear Ray, I believe it's called. What? They have a there we go. Here? Here? Um. Right, we can slice these up and get health, uh, health units off of these if we ever. Use your or need to. Um. Use ninja run to deflect shots, and we basically want to avoid the big shot and aim for his legs. Oh, wrong button. Um, when we weaken him enough, we'll be able to access blade mode and do a special move here to get rid of more of his armor on his foot. Um, after a while, you want to you're gonna want to switch feet. Uh, what I like to do personally, oh, wrong button, wrong button. <laughs> what I like to do personally is once I weaken one foot, I go for the other. It's kind of um, I guess it could be my ADD or the fact that, um, but you can focus on one foot for a majority of time, but you will have to eventually switch shoulder. Um, so real quick, before we go in too much further, there's something unique about boss fights in this game that I don't see a whole lot in other games that really needs to happen more. And you're going to see here in a, in a bit when we get them down to lower health. Um, Right there we got him to go for the gun. Can we hit? Oh, we can only hit the gun, I think. And I believe it's right here. <laughs> oh, wrong button! No, it's not here. We gotta go for the other foot. Yeah. Um. 
Well, another thing about the Metal Gear series is I do know what a Metal Gear is, so... And apparently it's a mobile weapons platform that's, that's built from firing nuclear, uh, nuclear armaments. Which I'm looking at it's like, we kind of have better ones in real life. And um, right here we have the point where, okay, you're gonna just... Okay. Uh, middle click on the right analog. We'll reset the camera behind right in, so yeah. Uh... All the way, all the way, all the way. There we go! Right here. Okay, so you notice that? Full lyrics and the music! And it doesn't kick in until the high point of the battle. Freaking awesome! <laughs> it's all like... It's also like full metal music, full metal music, or metal rock, whatever, whatever the the genre is. It's freaking awesome. Every boss fight has that. But do not rest easy just yet, huh? <laughs> so you got an S rank for that, which is actually not that bad considering uh, considering I'm not really that good on a controller. Go. I am playing this on easy mode, so uh, you need to head this way and. Let me see if I can... This is, this is one of those areas right here that kind of lets you destroy a lot of stuff. Like couches, chairs, and even the pillars. Um, I think it's a, basically show off the, get, uh, the use of the game engine. Um, like I said, this is... This right here, the being able to like, slice through obstacles, objects and stuff like that, was apparently what kind of kept Konami uh, from making the original Metal Gear Rising. And eventually giving Platinum a chance, which <laughs> it looks like Platinum, they did a pretty good job. But I mean, I'm hitting, I'm breaking this into. Let's see how many pieces we can break this into before it starts lagging. Like I said, it will eventually start to lag, but you gotta have like, a lot of pieces on the on there. And even with like my recording software, like, I mean, I tested this before in there. Like, I know I get some lag, and like I got the lag, but it only lasts for, like a second. It's like, they don't start like despawning stuff, just to kind of get rid of lag. Like right here you see the pillars gone. Like right here it's like the bits that we haven't, that we've been chopping up are still around. So yeah. I, mean, I guess it just gets rid of the bare minimum. So it keeps the aesthetic in and it's looking as nice as, po as, uh, nice as possible, I guess you could use the term. But anyway, um... Okay, one of the uses you need for the ninja run. Instead of jumping, you just use the ninja run to dash. Um, I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna basically go through this mini obstacle course, kind of show off the ninja run. Then one dabs it off. So we gotta just follow the bad guy here and get rescued by Prime Minister and. Let you know I'm pressing one button and pushing in the direction. Yeah, you know, that's what happens if you hit Y. Um, to do the slide move. It's, actually, I like using the slide move to enter combat. I like, even like getting away from enemies and like just going into them and sliding into them. It's pretty useful. <laughs> um, anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and episode off, episode off here for now. So the next episode will follow, continue following the bad guy towards and hopefully save the, the Prime Minister. Until then, I'll see you guys later.